this mass suicide victims adhere to the Mayan calendar, which predicts the end of time to occur on the 21st of December of 2012. I thought we had more time. We gotta leave right now! The first thought that we always have is how much can we do for real? From the very beginning we said we'll shoot some stuff on location and then the rest will be done on stage. Yellowstone soon to become the world's largest volcano. Yellowstone is a highly active seismic area. All of Yellowstone Park is one giant supervolcano. This is like a hundred nuclear blasts being triggered underground. The ground actually bubbles up and rips open and then we have 30 mile wide explosions. Nothing. There's a huge amount that was done practical in this sequence. Because what you do is you just kind of put an RV on a gimbal and shoot it in front of blue screen and then shoot a couple of helicopter shots and then the rest will be CG. We knew that we would have to actually exchange the background to a background that gets hit by these fire bombs that come out of the ash cloud. There's a specific moment when the RV gets hit by one of these lava bombs and that's where the RV was prepared by the special effect crew and then we only in post added this lava bomb that actually hits the RV. And then we have shots where the RV is actually jumping over a gorge. Our special effects and stunt team set up this ramp for the real RV to jump over. All right, buckle in, here we go! There's always challenges when you integrate live action with computer animation. We have to up our quality level and make absolutely sure that whatever we're doing is entirely 100% feeling. You have to have so much imagination when you shoot it. If it would be any other director, I would be very nervous. I'm drawn to disaster movies because you have ordinary people battling these images. And cut. <laughs> 